This next one is pretty short, so I'm not even going to bother uh, talking about the uh, what led up to it, but it's pretty funny, so let's get right to it. So, ma'am, I'm just asking you to please place a face mask on for the protection of everybody in the I hotel for the state ordinance that's posted right out front. So, there are multiple reasons why people are saying they're not allowed to, or supposed to wear face masks. They're medically exempt, they're disabled, they have some sort of... Uh, you know, anxiety inducing thing whenever they wear a mask and they think the mask doesn't work and wearing the mask is not inducive to their own protection even though that's not what the mask was there for to begin with or that um, they're disabled somehow and that they have a problem with wearing a mask because it goes against their disability and people are discriminating against them. Let's see how many of those she actually takes off. And there's the disability card. Um, honestly, I, I think most of these, like lumbago, is a self-diagnosed thing. And people, in their mind, actually believe the masks don't work. And that they really believe they have a disability of some kind. And since the mind is a powerful thing, they honestly think that if they wear a mask, they're going to faint, pass out, or they're going to catch the COVID because they're breathing in CO2 rather than O2. Look, all you gotta do is wear the mask for maybe two minutes in order to check in. And then you don't have to worry about wearing the mask in your room. Uh, okay, just put the damn thing on and stop being a child, okay? And stop listing off reasons why you think you shouldn't wear it. I'm just, I'm just asking. Did she just say that... The mandate is that if she is medically exempt of any way, or religiously exempt, that's a new thing people are doing, uh, if she is at all medically exempt, it overrides that company's policies about mask mandates. So you're using government to tell companies, private companies, and hotels and businesses, to tell them that you are medically exempt and you are forcing them to ignore you not wearing a mask, even though it's their company policy to require that you wear a mask in order to do business there. That That's the card you're going to play with. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it plays out for them. So we're, we're a hotel. We are allowed to refuse service to anybody. Yes, we are. The ADA guidelines, the American Dental Association. As we're allowed to refuse service no, to mask. anyone you if you're refusing to wear a mask. Please, we're just asking if you can just cover your no, face. I'm not covering my goddamn mouth. If you can just cover your face, no. your mouth, no. something so we can check no, you in, please. You know. And all the time you spent saying no and that you're not going to wear the mask, you could have just complied and put on the mask and done your business the way you wanted it to. You went into their business. They have the right to refuse service. You said, no, I'm not wearing a mask. They have the right to refuse service per their company policy. And if the, ma and if the government mandate for that state... Or if, you know, in the country, you know, because people are wanting uh, government-run national mandates in all 50 states. If the time you took from being resistant and non-compliant, you could have just put on a mask. That's the fourth one. Moving on to the fifth one. <laughs> 